Okay, so this is a video about my uh, my automatic water change. Uh, some people at work have been asking, how does it work? So i give them a little tour of exactly how it works. So I'll start off with uh, my 200-gallon water storage container. It's a Norwesco 200-gallon vertical one right there, as you can see. Right now, I probably got roughly about a little less than 150 gallons in there, I guess. So inside this water storage container, there's a couple of pumps. Uh, one, it'll pump the uh, new salt water out through this bulkhead right here and into this drain that drains down into the sump. And there's another uh, pump inside, a Corralia, that mixes the salt water. Both the cords come up through this lid, which I think is awesome. Um, so I just add the RODI water from my RODI unit. One of the uh, lines goes into here. The other one goes into the auto top-off uh, bin over there. Uh, fill it up with about 200 gallons. Just pour these bags of salt in there. Pump mixes it up. Real simple. Uh, every Sunday at 11 o'clock, there's a uh, old salt water pump in here, which is uh, Maxi Jet 1200. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it right here. It'll turn on at 11 o'clock, and it'll pump the old salt water out. It'll pump the, roughly about 10% of the water out, so maybe about 15 gallons. Um, at the same time, my return pump will stop. This is a uh, Mag 24. It'll stop. And so this sump will fill up almost to the point where it's about to overflow, but it won't overflow because the uh, old salt water pump will pump that water out of here. So everything else stays on, that just turns off. So that'll do that and it'll continue pumping the water out until uh, a certain time and then the new salt water pump will pump the water back in here until that float switch is, is tripped right there. Once that float switch, switch is tripped, it turns off that new salt water pump and then everything returns back to normal. The return pump comes back on, everything is good to go. So when that happens, I'll, I'll come back and show you exactly how that happens. So this water change should take place in about a minute. I think it's got about a minute before it actually cuts on and starts. So. my refugium one of my drains goes in the refugium the other one goes in here and as you can see the return pumps just cut off and the old salt water pump is pumping the water now what it does is it pumps the water back to this drain line that I have, you can see it there behind the refugium, this drain goes into the house and connects to the, the house's sewage system. So I don't have to see any of that water, it just goes right into the sewage system, it goes bye-bye. Also, my RDI unit's wastewater line also goes into that, if you've seen in other videos, goes into that same line. So I don't have to see that water either. So as you can see, some's filling up, but at the same time, the old salt water pump is pumping that water out. It'll do that for about maybe eight minutes. And it'll keep pumping it out until the water level drops below that float switch. But the only problem I've been finding is that uh, this water level in this side drops down before this one does. I have to adjust the float switch, but that's fine. It doesn't matter at this time. So, you can see it's not that fast of a process. It takes a little while. So I'll stop it until it gets probably up below that float switch.
So I'm back, as you can see, because of the position of the float switch, which I'm going to have to correct. You can see uh, it's definitely uh, draining more on this side. But that's okay. Because I've adjusted it, it'll only run for about another minute. So I won't completely drain out that side. So it'll probably do a little bit more than 15 gallons out of my sump. But that's all right. <laughs> but in about a minute, it should kick on, and my new salt water pump should kick on. As you can see, the auto water change is stopped and the return pump is kicked back on. So now everything is draining out. And the new salt water pump is on and it is filling up the sump once again. See, it comes right into here. Flows down back into the sump fill the sump up. Quite a noisy process, but fortunately all of this is in my garage. So I ain't got to worry about it. And of course I'll do my maintenance. Go ahead and clean out my skimmer cup and everything else. So as you notice, once the water level hits that float switch, the new salt water pump turns off. But it will continue to adjust the level until everything is equaled out.